Hold up, wait a minute. I feel like I'm too high. Is that? It's all good. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to talk to you about how to get out of a creative rut or like what happens when you run out of video ideas, what I do. I know that I've shared other videos on my channel in the past talking about how to come up with video ideas and I looked at it really analytically and I'm pretty sure, yeah, no, I definitely filmed that video when I was in LA. So it's been over a year since I've talked about this. And recently, actually, if you guys watched my last video, I told you that I was sitting on my couch trying to build out my content calendar for the next couple of months and I was completely stuck on what content to create. Like my creativity just absolutely left me. I don't know, I just like feel like I've got some tips that I can share when it comes to being in a creative rut and how to kind of get yourself out of that, how to come up with video ideas. And especially right now, I need to brainstorm more video ideas. Like I just have not been filling out my content calendar like I usually do. So I guess let's like kind of talk about my strategy and how I try to, oh, yeah, okay. Typically at the end of every month, I like to sit down with my content calendar and I will brainstorm all of the videos that I want to shoot for the following month. And since I only upload one video a week, that's about four or five video ideas that I have to come up with. So it's really not a lot, but I feel like since May or June, maybe, I just have not been doing that. I have not been structured with my content calendar at all and I have really been running out of ideas. I haven't been keeping up with my ideas list and it's just been an absolute mess. So if you guys are content creators and maybe you're at the point where you're like, I never have any video ideas and it's always the week of and I don't know what I'm going to shoot, my recommendation is to figure it out ahead of time. So I like to do it on a month by month basis. So right now it's the start of September and I know this video, the next two videos, but I think there's one more video left in September. I have no idea what I'm gonna do there. And then all of October, I do not know what I'm filming. So really today, I would like to map out the next two months and just have a general idea of what I'm going to film. Now, that doesn't mean that I have to stick to those video ideas, but it's really nice when I am in a creative rut or maybe I'm not feeling motivated and just inspired to work. When I already have the idea laid out for me, it gives me that structure that you guys know that I love. and it it forces me to continue creating content, you know? So I definitely recommend that as well as on my content calendar. So you guys know I have my content calendar template available for you guys. I'm gonna include a link in the description bar down below, but this is the calendar that I've been using for a couple of years. I adapt it and just kind of like adjust it a little bit every year and it's totally customizable. So you guys can do whatever you want to it to make it work for you. Me specifically on the right hand side, I have got an ideas list and I'd like to keep that up to date. Every other month or so, or maybe it's like every quarter, I go on my Instagram stories and I ask you guys for video ideas. So that's a good idea if you're in a creative rut, if you have no idea what you want to create or you're just like lacking those ideas, always ask your audience. I will ask you guys within in my videos and I say leave a comment down below and I will typically pin a comment at the top and then I will look through your responses to that comment. It just keeps things really organized for me and it's easy to see where all the video ideas are within the comments. So that's a recommendation. Otherwise, Instagram stories, you guys can do the question box. One of the things I do want to say is that you know your brand best. And there's sometimes when I get video ideas and I'm like, oh, that's a good idea, but it's not enough to turn into a video. So I'll just respond to the comment and answer the question there. There's other other videos where I'm like, this isn't enough, but I could put it in a Q&A or I could put it in something else. Like the last video I filmed talking about having multiple channels, I've gotten asked before about how AdSense works. And I already have other videos about monetization and that's a very, it's not like a niche thing, but it's a very specific thing with like having multiple YouTube channels, how does AdSense work? So I figured I can throw it in that video and that makes sense. But there are other times when I get video ideas from you guys that I'm like, that's not what my channel's about. Yes, here on my channel, I talk a lot about YouTube, but I don't look at my channel as if I talk about YouTube tips. And I know that may seem crazy. And based off of like the video ideas that I get from you guys sometimes, I feel like you don't have a full grasp on what my channel's about and what I'm trying to do here on my channel. And that's totally fine because it's not your guys' job to have the vision for my brand. It is my job to have the vision for my brand, but I do not share all of the updates to the YouTube algorithm. I don't share all of the new features and stuff like that because my mission here with my brand is to help you guys to create a life you love, doing what you love. I want to lead by example. I wanna talk about things that I have experience with, how I've been able to do certain things. And if you guys want to know about 
about like camera gear. Like if you want to see like what vlog camera you should get and like the settings within your camera. Yeah, sometimes I do talk about that and I'll include it in a video. But honestly, I watch Think Media for that stuff. Think Media has the best videos on that. And I can't even tell you guys the amount of equipment I have bought because of Think Media and their videos. So I'm always going to recommend you go over there. If you want to watch videos about YouTube shorts and stuff, I haven't even tried out shorts. So I feel like I can share my opinion on the matter, but factually and analytically, I do not have the information. So I'm going to send you over to channel makers. And sometimes you may get recommendations from your audience of videos that they would like to see, but you don't want to create. And that is totally fine because you understand understand the vision of your brand better than anyone. But otherwise, I have gotten some killer video ideas from you guys. A lot of my different analytic reports, like comparing my stats from years ago to now, as well as like the last video I filmed, like there have been several videos that have come from you. Another thing that I like to do is I like to turn comments or questions that you guys ask into videos. And it's really easy for me to do because of what my YouTube channel is. But let's say you've got more so a lifestyle channel or a vlog channel and someone asks you like, what do you eat on a daily basis? That is something easy that you can film. If someone's asking for your skincare routine, your makeup routine, maybe they just want to know like how you work out your morning routine, nighttime routine. I don't know why I'm only thinking of routines at this point. There's so many different things that your audience may ask you within the comments or just have like a little comment of like, oh, I would like to see more of that. That's an easy way for you to get some ideas flowing. That's like external, but let's talk a little bit more about creativity. I had to get my water. I'm dying of thirst over here. Guys, this cup was sent to me from a subscriber. Seriously, so cute. As a YouTuber, you are probably a creative person. Like if you are a content creator, you probably have a side to you that's pretty creative. And when you are a creative person, having like set structure or like, no, forcing yourself to be creative when you aren't creative can be very hard. And I have been a creative person my whole entire life. Like I just don't know my life without photography and without art. When I was in high school, I took every single art class possible to the point where I ended up having two different independent studies where I created my own classes in the art side of things. So I did one for drawing, one for photography because I ran out of classes to take. Like that is the creative side of me here. When you run out of creativity, it is really hard to force yourself to be creative. And that's why I like to have a running list of ideas because I know at the end of the day, like a video has to get up. I need to continue creating. And some of the things that really work for me and you guys may have noticed this within my videos recently I've just been feeling really uninspired with my videos I feel like it comes in ebbs and flows here on this main channel and that's just like really how creativity works in general but recently I haven't been loving my video ideas I haven't been really inspired like oh my gosh I can't wait to share this video like I just haven't had that so I've had to find other ways for me to be creative and spark that creativity in hopes that then I'm going to be excited about my video ideas maybe new interesting video ideas are going to come my way and what I've been doing is I've tried to mix up my shots and mix up my angles so within my last few videos guys I have been like setting up the backdrop I've been pulling plants from different areas of my house and I've been trying to get different shots like for example the other day I had a shot like this I have never shot like that before before, but I just needed a different angle. I needed something that was going to spark creativity as well as like joy. Let's go Marie Kondo here, you know, and maybe you like your shots already. Okay. And you don't need to mix it up like I did, but what else can you do that is a little bit different? And it may just be like the way you're shooting your thumbnails. Maybe it's the style of your filming and like all of your videos are sitting down in one spot and you want to try mixing around and mixing around, moving around your camera and mixing up the shots. Or maybe you want to try like a vlog style video within your channel. Just have some fun, push yourself outside of your comfort zone and what you normally do. And hopefully that will make you feel a little bit more creative. Another tip that I've actually heard so many times, like majoring in art in college, you know, this is a tip that is often recommended to us is if you feel stuck in your creative, like the kind of content you typically create, try something different. So at one time I was taking a photography class and this was actually after I graduated college. I did, I think it was called a calotype. 
Anyways, irrelevant to the story. I took that class just for fun and there was another artist that was there and she typically did painting. And the teacher asked us like why we had all signed up for this class. And she said, I was feeling really creatively stuck within my painting and I needed to try a different media to spark some creativity and to challenge myself. And that helped her then with her painting. So if you are feeling really stuck in creating your videos, maybe try something else that might not seem productive. Like it might not seem like it's gonna help you to grow your YouTube channel or to create the next video, whatever it is, but maybe you wanna try out photography. Maybe you do wanna try out drawing. Maybe you have always wanted to skateboard or rollerblade. I have no idea why those ideas just came into my mind. Something that I have also been doing recently, I was a little late to the game on reels. Like I still do not have TikTok guys. It's just, it's not for me. But I have been loving reels recently. It has been a fun thing for me to create short form content and it's totally different than the videos that I create here on YouTube. So if you want something that is still productive, maybe focus on different platforms. Like you don't always need to be working on YouTube. There are other platforms that you should have that you should be working on and that could just be Instagram with photos, maybe sharing more on your stories, maybe it is reels. Like try something different that is productive. I guess, if, if that's something you need. Like honestly, self-care, it might not seem productive, but at the end of the day, it is productive. When you're getting your eight hours of sleep, you may be thinking, oh, I could be getting work done. But in reality, for me, if I don't get my eight hours of sleep, I don't put in good work. So there are things that may not seem productive that are really productive. And I just like, I could create a whole nother video on like that mindset shift, but that's not what we're talking about here. <laughs> another tip that I have for you guys and something that I do immediately when I'm feeling myself getting to that place of feeling stuck or uninspired, I will change up my environment. I will get out of my house. And whether that's just like spending some time outside, getting some fresh air, I love spending time in my garden, even though I'm having so many problems with my garden this year, it's fine. Especially if I need to work and if I need to have a brainstorming session, one of the places I always go is a coffee shop. It's where I feel the most inspired. I just love the environment. Plus a little bit of caffeine can get my brain going. Maybe you need to go on vacation. And I know that may not seem practical. It may not seem realistic, but even if you can rent an Airbnb at a place that's like an hour and a half drive away, if you can do that and you can spend a couple hundred dollars, do that. When I am setting up a brainstorming session and I specifically say, okay, I'm going to a coffee shop. I'm going to bring my notepad. I'm going to bring my computer and maybe I'll look over my analytics a little bit, but really the idea is to come up with video ideas and just like come up with them in my mind. You know, I do have that other video talking about how you can use your analytics. And actually I'm going to link to that right here as well as in the description bar down below. But typically like looking at your analytics, yeah, it can be great, but I can sometimes get bogged down and just like in my thoughts of, well, is this really a good idea? Or, oh, I've already created other videos like that. Like, why would I create that again type of thing? What I like to do is I will just have a notebook with me, a blank sheet of paper, a pen, and I will write down all of my ideas. And I like to call this a brain dump. You guys have probably heard of that before, but I just don't like to filter anything. And some of my ideas may be absolute shit, but I don't care. I need to write down every single idea that pops into my mind and I'm going to filter it out later. Now I have to go inside because actually it's been pouring rain here with Hurricane Ida that came through and my chair was actually wet, but I <laughs> I just wanted to get that shot, okay? So yeah, no, I'm, I'm wet, it's fine. <laughs> and remember how I mentioned that running list of ideas, okay? So when you have your brainstorming session and you've got your shit ideas and you've got your really good ideas, throw all of them onto your ideas list within your content calendar and maybe go back to them in the future. Like I said, you don't want to filter out those ideas right away because something may just need like a little tweaking. It may be a diamond in the rough, you know? And you just need a little bit of tweaking and that will be amazing. So figure it out later. Just make sure that you always have that idea. But with your running list of ideas, okay, constantly be adding to it. I know that I will come up with ideas like when I'm in the shower or when I'm cooking it or even today I was vlogging. I'm realizing I should really do a video. You know what? Catherine, now you're thinking. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can turn this into a video idea. I'm gonna put that on my content calendar and I'm gonna create it for you guys because that's a good video idea. So whenever something pops up, like 
maybe have a notepad beside your bed. And if you randomly come up with an idea right before you go to sleep, like I feel like that is when I have my best ideas. It's like when I'm trying to shut my brain off at night, it's just like running wild. And it's like, oh, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Have a notepad beside your bed, write down whatever idea comes to you. Maybe even have like a notepad in your bathroom or have your phone like right side out of your shower. And then once you're done, you can write down whatever ideas came to your mind. Just make sure that you're constantly writing them down. And even if you think they're not good in the moment, again, they may actually be good. They just need a little bit Bit more work to turn them into something amazing. From there, every month or every other month, like I told you, I will actually move those ideas onto my content calendar. Now that does not mean that they are set in stone that I absolutely have to create those videos, but I like to have my top eight or so. Like I try to do it like two months in advance in reality. So I will have my top next eight YouTube videos there. Just having that really helps me because sometimes my video idea list can get really long. Like it can be like 50 plus video ideas. And let me actually just share some of these. Okay. Like I've got business mindset is on my video ideas list. That's not actually a video idea. That's just like a general topic or category that I could turn into more videos. And I also have like manifestation. I've got how to avoid burnout. I have got more behind the scenes, like things of running a business, but like, that's not actually a video idea. That's just like, here's a thought, Catherine, turn it into something, you know? So sometimes that list can get a bit crazy. And if I am at that point where it's like, I have no idea what to create, looking at that list may be a little overwhelming. So what I think I'm going to do today, because the sun is starting to go behind clouds, it's causing problems. We got to wrap up this video here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my computer. I'm going to go in my living room. I'm going to set a timer for an hour and I'm just going to try to brainstorm some ideas and map out my content for at least like next month, really nail down what videos I want to create. But I would love to hone in on some ideas that I can create before the end of this year. I just like, I haven't been feeling inspired with my video ideas recently. Like I haven't come out with anything that I'm like, oh, this is a really, really great idea. This is something that I've never seen before. Like I've never shared before. Like I just haven't had that recently and I feel like I need to get back to that place and it's kind of hard to force that sometimes. So I guess another tip that I have for you guys is if you are feeling just like totally not motivated and you need to take some rest and maybe you do need to miss an upload. Maybe you need to miss two. And you know that by taking a step back, it's going to make you come back better than ever. And you're going to feel more creative and inspired. Like you can't really force creativity. You can't, it comes in ebbs and flows. And if you're at that point where it's like, I just need to do nothing for a day. I had that actually a couple of weeks ago and my brother recommended that I watch the Bo Burnham inside special. Now I know that I am totally late to this, but I decided to watch it and I did not realize that that was going to spark so many ideas for me. Like just watching him with his lighting, his shots, like filming alone in one room that was very small, mind you, the amount of different shots he got, the scenes where he was like reacting to him, reacting to him, reacting, hilarious, where he was filming scenes and then projecting them on his house. Now, obviously I'm not going to do that, but there were so many things where I was like, whoa, this creative energy has got me really inspired. And I didn't plan on doing that. Like I planned on just taking the day to rest because I knew that I needed it. But if you can find other creators that help you to feel creative. Honestly, I have gotten questions before about like how to not compare yourself to other creatives. Like if you're comparing yourself to other creatives, maybe unfollow them or maybe just you can mute people on Instagram. Like maybe do that for the time being until you realize that you are out of that comparison trap kind of mindset. But there are a lot of people that I follow just for the inspiration, just for their creativity. And Desi Perkins has been one of those people for me from the very beginning. Like I have always loved her. She used to do lookbooks. Her freaking lookbooks made me feel so inspired. Now, I am not a fashion blogger. I am not a fashion YouTuber. Like, I am not creating any fashion content at all. Like, could you imagine me coming out with a lookbook? This is what we call editing fashion. Looking stylish, right? Watching those videos outside of my niche help me to feel really inspired. So maybe that's something you need. Maybe you do need to take a day of rest, but honestly, just do what's right for you. I'm hoping that you guys like this video and maybe you got a new idea out of it. Like maybe you haven't thought of some of these things before. Maybe you haven't tried them out. That's going to be it for this video. I am going to map out the videos.
or not map out the videos, try to come up with some videos like I told you guys, but that's going to be it for this video. I'm hoping that you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. I'm going to pin a comment at the top where you guys can leave more video ideas for me and I'm going to pull hopefully a lot of those. If you guys give me some good ideas, I'm going to pull a lot of those and put them on my ideas list. I also do try to take screenshots of the good comments and then you guys get like little shout outs when I'm like, this is where the video idea came from, you know? So if you want a little shout out, that's kind of a way to do it, but that's going to be it. I seriously have to go. I'm just like kind of procrastinating because I don't really want to brainstorm, but I got to do it. I got to do it. I wish I had like a chai or something here at home, but I just don't. You know what? Maybe I'll order food in. Okay. I'm just like talking to you like I'm talking to the vlog right now. If you guys want to subscribe to the vlog channel, subscribe to the vlog channel, but that's going to be it. Bye guys. <laughs>